Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Sears FF35 Motor Drive. It's from about 1984. Based on the name, the FF and the red and blue stripes, I had assumed that it was a rebranded Ryko, but it's not. It's a Haking Helena Speedy 33. Uh, it's a little point and shoot jobber from Hong Kong. Has a 35 millimeter lens F4.5, three elements, they say it's all glass. Uh, it's a fixed focus lens from four feet to infinity. It has a program mechanical shutter uh, that goes from one one hundredth of a second to one four hundredth of a second. Kind of an odd speed range. It has this CDS meter on the front. Apparently all that does is activate this warning light to let you know, let you know to use the uh, flash. There's no marks in the viewfinder. There's the uh, you know the use a flash and then also the flash ready LED on the back. Um, ISO settings. I uh, use this right here, and it's got 100, 200, 400, and a thousand. And it's a little bit weird because it's 200 slash 400. So anything kind of medium fast, you set it the same. Apparently that is changing the aperture. And then down here, it's got off with the lens cap closed, sunny, cloudy, flash, and then close up flash. I'll have to run this through the settings. Uh, with the batteries in it like I did with the Konica Tomato to figure out the different combinations. The manual does not give a guide number but they give ranges with different uh, film. ISO 100 is 5 to 10 feet or 4 to 5 feet close up. 200 slash 400 is 6 to 15 feet 4 to 6 feet close up and 1000 speed film is 10 to 25 feet or four to ten feet close up. It has a motorized wind. Um, it does not auto load though. You still have to put it, slip it into the take up spool here. Does have automatic rewind or this thing that looks like a rivet or a screw head. You can use a ballpoint pen or something and do mid roll rewind. It takes two AA batteries, chamber on the bottom. And interestingly, the frame counter is this circular dial on the bottom. Works well, it's just a little bit weird to keep flipping the camera over to see where you are on the roll. The catch, and then it's got the window that lets you see the film canister, so you know what film you have loaded, or right here on the back. This one is in really, really good condition. You got the original strap, and the case, and a manual, which I'll scan and put over on the blog. Uh, the test roll kind of mixed results. Some Fuji 200 film, color print film, expired in 1997. I got these weird streaks on some of it. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look like water that dried. That's usually kind of whitish. But I got a few good shots, so maybe I'll run another test through this guy, and I'll see you then.